Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to get a first look at the all-new Gigapixel 7, which Topaz are stating has been rebuilt from the ground up to be better and faster. So we're going to get a look at that today. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. The other day, I got an email from Topaz stating that they have a new update for Gigapixel, and that is Gigapixel 7. They're calling it the all-new Gigapixel 7, and right now, what you're seeing is the website for Gigapixel 7. This website has been all revamped, and it looks like they are committed to keeping Gigapixel going. I'm not sure about what is happening with Sharpen AI or Denoise AI, but it looks like they're going to keep Gigapixel going. So today I thought we could take a first look at the all-new Gigapixel 7 and see what it's all about. If you're not familiar with Gigapixel, what it is is an upscaling and enhancing product, so it can take images and extend their sizes and enhance them as well. And it's always been a great product. So let's get a look at this new Gigapixel 7 today. Let me set this up for you. What I'll be doing today, I have this image here. It's a full-size image. I've made some edits on it in Lightroom, brought it into Photoshop, and you'll notice I have this layer called Topaz Photo AI. I went ahead and sent it into Topaz Photo AI, denoised it, sharpened it, and it looks really great. And so it is ready to be cropped. So I ended up duplicating the image just to show you here. And I did this really aggressive crop. Again, this is what it originally looks like, and now it looks like this after the crop. Now, the original image size, and I'm going to use my TK9 combo panel and click on size. The original image size is 5,616 pixels wide by 3,744 pixels high. And then this image, now that it's been cropped, if I click on size, you can see it is now only 2,103 pixels wide by 1,402 pixels high. So it's relatively smaller. And I love to use Gigapixel for upsizing my images. But lately, since they've come out with Topaz Photo AI and it has fantastic upscaling in it, I've been using it. But now I'm thinking that they are updating Gigapixel with the technology that they've learned when they created Topaz Photo AI. But let's get a first look at it today. So the next thing we're going to do is upscale this and enhance it in Gigapixel. And let me show you how we can do it right here in Photoshop. Here's what we do. Now that I have this cropped image, all we need to do in Photoshop is come up to File and look for Automate and then look for Topaz Gigapixel AI. By the way, if you have Topaz Photo AI, you're going to find it here too for upscaling. But we're going to be using Topaz Gigapixel AI. So give that a click and we'll launch Topaz Gigapixel AI version 7. And here we are inside of Gigapixel version 7. All new interface here. Now it kind of looks like a little bit like Topaz Photo AI. And let me say this right out front. If you have Topaz Photo AI that upscales, enhances, sharpens, denoises, do you need Gigapixel 7? And I would say, no, you do not. If you have Topaz Photo AI and you're happy with it, you don't really need Gigapixel. Or let's say you don't feel a need for sharpening and denoising software. Maybe you're using the new enhanced feature in Lightroom for denoising and you're happy with your sharpening that you're getting. But you may want to be able to do intense cropping and be able to upscale your images or say like you're into AI art like Adobe Firefly or Midjourney. And you know those files you get back are not that big of files and you need to be able to enhance them as well as upscale them if you want to make large prints out of them. So then you would need something like Gigapixel 7 or Topaz Photo AI. Now, if we look to the right of this interface, you'll notice I have resize mode. And if I click here, I can close this group and click again. I can reopen it. And in here we have scale. I'll click on it and you can use one time, which is not really upscaling, but just enhancing. You can use a two time upsize four or six times or you can come and click on either width or height and you could just put in an amount here. You can enter your pixel amount, which I have, which is the size of the original image, which was 5,616 pixels wide. Or you could click the drop down and choose inches or centimeters, but I like to use pixels. 
and you'll notice that if I click on height, it automatically picked that height for me of 3744 because I, I typed in the width and it gave me the proper height. And that keeps the aspect ratio the same as the original image, which is what I wanted. Now, by the way, you can also crop right here inside of Gigapixel if you want to, but I did my cropping in Photoshop first, so you can go either way that you like. Once you've set your upscale size, then you can come to AI model and you have this toggle here. You could have Gigapixel figure everything out for you by toggling this on, or you could click on any one of these different AI models. And if we hover right here, you can see we get really good information of what all these different models do. But Gigapixel for me has chosen standard version two. And also under settings, I have settings toggled on for auto settings. And this is the minor denoise amount it has selected and the minor de blur. So it does do some noise reduction as well as some sharpening. They're minor noise reduction and minor sharpening, by the way. And also it can fix compression. Let's say you had a low res image like one you generated in Adobe Firefly or Mid Journey. Or let's say you had a very low quality JPEG image it might have a lot of compression and it would pick a compression amount and of course you can adjust all these sliders on your own as well you don't have to take the auto settings but the auto settings are nice and i find they work out pretty well and then if we come down further we have additional settings and if yours is not open if you click right here you can open this up and if you hover over information you can see it tells you what face recovery does and face recovery in Gigapixel has always been exceptional as well as it is in Topaz Photo AI. But we also have gamma correction. And you'll note it says the AI will process the image in a higher gamma color space. For images with highly saturated colors, this can enhance AI outputs with more details and less color bleed. So a lot of times I like to keep this turned on. So let me go ahead and turn this on. And there's no need to turn face recovery on because I don't have any faces here. Now, if you look down here, we can go ahead and zoom into our image. If we click right here, we have, we can zoom to fit, zoom 67%, zoom 100%, zoom 200, 400, up to 800%, which is nice if you want to get up close and personal and really check out the image up close. And then we also have different ways of viewing our images, a uh, single view, split screen i'm on a split screen here so i can take this slider and i can drag it across to the left of the bar would be the before and the right of it would be the after so if i drag this across so look on the right side of the bars i slide that is the enhanced version right there so pretty cool or you can do like a side by side view if you want to I do like the split screen. I think it's pretty cool. So it's done a really nice job here. And then we get some information down here at the bottom. And you can batch process with Gigapixel as well, which makes it really great. And then down here, we can see the original size of the image was 2103 by 1402 pixels. Upsize 2.67 times. It's now back to the original aspect ratio of the original image, which is 5616 by 3,744 pixels. I'm using standard version two. And the 26 and the 46 are dealing with the minor denoise of 26 and the minor de-blur of 46. And faces are turned off. And this is for gamma. Gamma is turned on. So we get a lot of really nice information there. Now, obviously, when you're working out of Photoshop, you're not going to be able to batch process. But if you're working Gigapixel with a standalone app, yes, you can batch process. Oh, and by the way, the little lightning bolt and you see standard version 2, 26 and 46 are all in this same color, like an orange color. That just denotes that I'm using the auto settings that Gigapixel has decided would be right for this image, which I do agree. But if I didn't think it was sharp enough, I could take the minor de-blur slider and drag this more to the right and change the setting as well as if I felt it had too much noise in it, I could take the minor denoise and drag this further to the right and try that out. So you have full control over what Gigapixel was giving you. Now, once you're happy with everything, 
All you need to do is click Save to Adobe Photoshop. And I'll go ahead and click Save to Adobe Photoshop. I'll leave this in real time so you can see how long it's taking. And I'll put the information up on the screen for my computer just to give you an idea, something to compare to. I really like the new interface for Gigapixel. I think they've done a great job with it. It's similar to uh, Topaz Photo AI. And now here we are back in Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and zoom this into 200% and let me go ahead and go over this B right here. So if I uh, shut this layer off, you can see what the image looks like. If it wasn't uh, enhanced, just upsized, it would look like that. Now let me turn this layer on and this is what it looks like after the enhancement. And I think it's done a really great job. I'm going to go ahead and click this button and fit this back to screen. So now... This image will be the exact same pixel dimensions as the original image. So here is the original image. And now here is my cropped image that has been upscaled as well as enhanced using Topaz Gigapixel AI version 7. And if you would like to see a comparison between Topaz Photo AI upscaling and Topaz Gigapixel 7 upscaling, let me know in the comments section below. I'd be happy to do a video like that just to see if there's any difference between the two. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I do have affiliate links for Topaz products in the description below this video. You can also try out some free trials when you click on those links. So check it out and see what you think. If you enjoyed today's first look video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.